Welcome to Arcology, a lovely community within the bowels of Hades, a metropolis-sized structure drifting within a dimensional pocket of its own making. The bones of its creators now lay scattered across the unexplored corridors, and they took their secrets with them to the grave millennia ago. But now it's our home. From the junk trader on the bazaar to the scavengers scurrying the corridors of this godforsaken structure, we're all equals here. Most, if not all, inhabitants stem from the many variations of Earth, which met less than stellar fates. That's right. We're all interdimensional refugees who, after seeing their homes burn, were offered to start life anew here. A rare opportunity even in the multiverse. I still have my one-way ticket right here. But once you pass through the portal, that is it. You join the line just like the rest of the fresh meat. That is when the selection process begins. You won't be greeted by any bureaucrat, however. If you're lucky, someone that understands your language will point you to a bunkhouse. If you can afford it, at least. Then there is the food. Maybe some scav will take pity and share his meal with you or your family. That will be the first test. Survive the Arcology Cuisine. It is made from whatever emerges from the void when it comes to interdimensional bullshittery in the multiverse. This place is a frigging sieve. All types of xenoflora and fauna enter this place from god knows what manner of existence. Suffice to say that earthly plants and animals are a rarity here. And what the hunters and gatherers do bring back takes your body a while to get used to. Let's just say it is wise to keep a bucket by your bunk in the first week. If you survive that, you'll usually be okay. In that regard, at least. Those that don't... Well, they end up in the sticks. It's an organic pool that digests whatever we put in. Oh, oh, okay, look, it's no different from putting people in the ground, if you think about it. Do you know how much energy it takes to fully incinerate a body? Anyway, that brings us to the next stage of the selection process. Pull your frigging weight. If you attempt to make a living screwing over scams, you'll learn what it means to undergo arcology-style justice. It's probably wise to mention that theft is punished by death, typically executed by those who are stolen from, so I suggest you keep your hands to yourself. Arcology isn't kind to freeloaders. You can, however, contribute by keeping yourself alive and in working order. Your surplus you can sell at the bazaar, where some traders might give you something useful in return. If you bring them something rare, they might even give you some lexurants for it, our homebrew currency that most parties active in the multiverse will accept. Not that that matters to us scavs. We only use lexurants when bartering isn't an option. So, what do we barter for? If you have the skills, you can perform any trade you want. But most end up joining the flights going down the corridors to either hunt or gather what useful scrap and artifacts they can find in the ruins of Hades. A good flight might bring it back enough resources to live comfortably for 10 cycles or so before heading back. But the duration of these halls become longer as more of the ruin has been ransacked. The hunters are lucky in that regard. Their prey usually replenishes, but that doesn't mean they don't get hunted themselves. But that's enough about life. What about the structure itself? Here's a simple layout for you newcomers. Arcology is in the first, most outer ring of the third level away from the surface, that we call Upside. Upside is a near vacuum with low gravity. The surface itself had been bombarded by debris, and many of the top layers have been torn away. You'll find only the self go here. Then there is the gut. 
It used to be the main logistical hub that used to run from the outer rings all the way to the sixth innermost ring. However, the rings have shifted, isolating each ring from one another. Was it by design or a malfunction? Nobody knows. Arcology is at the end of the gut, and the settlements can only be accessed by an elevator that's heavily fortified on either level. The gut is filled with activity, most of it is scavs hauling their goods and the outposts where they can find an opportunity to rest in relative safety. Then there is Fort Defiance, effectively a huge barricade inside a major breach in the gut. The tear isn't an issue, but the fact that these ruins beyond the breach are overgrown by huge rigging xeno jungles is. If not burned regularly, it would have taken the god as well. And then there are the swarms of crawlies that storm its perimeter. Would Fort Defiance fall? The rest of the god would soon follow, and Arcology would be isolated. So if you are looking for a steady job, go apply at Fort Defiance. At least your equipment and food needs will be taken care of. So, what about the other rings? Well, most of it is just ruins and Xeno jungle. The second ring has pretty much been fully explored. I heard they established an outpost in the third. The scrap recovered from these rings cover our basic needs, as these are common areas in the times of the precursors. Housing, barracks, some parks, stores, logistical facilities. The fourth ring, however. Some say the engineering and research facilities lay beyond the fort. And there are a lot of stories. There are few scavs who dare to venture there, and those that have tried, well, they were never heard from again. Listen, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. The first settlers did not call this place Hades because of the tropical heat. This place is unforgiving. However... Arcology is just like that to anyone and anything who tried to wrong her. We don't blame the Crawleys for wanting to eat us. The feeling is mutual. The city is just as independent as the people who build it. We are Arcology. And our enemies know that. Especially the M.I.D. They don't just hate that we escaped them. They despise the very idea of every fiber of their being, and it goes against everything their totalitarian system stands for. Every time we encounter them, we greet them with a single message, just to see their blood boil. Our ecology will remain free. This is Fritz William H. Bendel Smith of the Retro Future Research Foundation. I hope you enjoyed our quick tour of our city. If you want to learn more about Arcology or the Multiverse, down below we have a link to the growing archive created by the Associates of Ishtar, who explore and document the various worlds and inhabitants of the Multiverse. We intend to publish more audio records of them in the future. There you can also find the artists who have devoted their valuable time and skills to the project. Please be so kind to look them up on Instagram. If you want to contribute to this universe, you totally can. Just join the Discord. A special thanks to the people who have supported us on platforms like Subscribestar. Thanks to their contributions, they also made some of the art possible. If you want to see this universe come to life, please consider supporting us so we can commission original art for future videos. And of course, you can help us by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And with that, class dismissed.